All right, welcome everybody um, to the first Twist event. Some of you would have been to previous this morning's events. Uh, this is the first Twist uh, event that we're doing. And really, my aim of the day is just to sort of, um, I guess, point you in the right direction. We've got some great presentations coming up from social media, uh, mobile marketing. And really, the name of my presentation is sort of, it's time to innovate or die. If you are doing the same thing that you were doing this time last year, you won't be here next year. Uh, the internet is evolving so quickly now that if you're not in a rain, then you won't be around this time next year. So things are changing. We all know that the uh, Penguin update has changed things. Everything with the inter internet marketing is changing so rapidly that you need to take as much as you can from today, um, adapt the way that you market, move forward, um, and innovate and change, uh, adapt with the internet, don't fight it, play with it. So my update today is really sort of bringing in the presentations from throughout the day, a little update as to what we're doing as a company. Um, so myself, uh, we run obviously Twist, the Mornish Affiliate Network, Impact5, um, and a few other projects that we're going to talk through today. Um, I'm going to give an update uh, about everything and um, just talk about what we're doing and how we can help you guys get the most out of the day uh, and moving forward. So you can't really see it on here, uh, let's see if I can, uh, but basically we're going to be answering any questions at the end of this presentation. Uh, if you're not comfortable enough to sort of put your hand up and ask a question, you can uh, go onto Twitter and, and ask a question, uh, hashtag twist event, and, you'll, and we'll answer those questions at the end of this presentation. Uh, so basically, this is the future, innovate or die. <coughs> um, the main topic of this presentation is, is sort of innovating and doing something that you're proud of. So anyone can put crap content online, we've been doing it before and it's worked, it's made us sales, but really, moving forward, it's all about doing something that you feel proud about doing. So, internet marketing, it's all about you're working for yourself, uh, you're enjoying what you're doing, it's your hobby, it's your business. So do something that you're proud of doing. Don't just put something online because you want to make money. It's not about making money, it's about doing something that you enjoy, doing something that you're proud of, and the money will come. So. Two years ago, you could put anything online, you could put crap content online, and it will get indexed and you will make sales. Moving forward, I feel it's not so much about putting content online, publishing content, content, content. It's about building something that you really are happy with building. So when you're building your websites, when you're designing sites, when you're writing content, put it online. But make sure you're, you look at it and you think, yeah, actually, that looks good. I'm happy that I put that online. It, don't just put something up because you want to make money, because you're not going to make money that way moving forward. It's about building communities, engaging with customers. It's about looking, stepping back and saying, am I adding value to that user's experience? So moving forward with social media, mobile marketing, it's going to be about, am I adding value to that consumer's search profile, when they're looking for something, when they're surfing online, are they getting something out of what you're offering? Or are you just putting some crap online that, yeah, they're gonna read and they're gonna move on? So moving forward, it's, I feel it's about doing something you're proud of doing, you're adding value to that user's experience, um, and you're, building a profile for yourself and for the, for the user. So, if you're doing the same this year that you were doing last year, you might not be here next year. It's, internet marketing is changing so rapidly, you have to adapt to the market. People aren't just using Google to find things anymore. They're using social networks, they're using Twitter, they're using their mobile on the go. If you're focused purely on putting content up, 
um, search engine optimization, one year, two year, three years, you're not going to be here anymore. So personally, moving forward, I would avoid putting crap content online that you're not proud of. I've already mentioned that a couple of times. Taking shortcuts to reduce the quality of what you're doing. Don't just outsource content and slap it online. That's not going to work anymore. You need to be proud. You need to look at what you've put online and say, am I adding value or am I just putting content? Am I outsourcing and putting content online? You know, spinnable, we, we were here last year and the year before promoting spinnable content. Spinnable content is dead. Google are adapting to what we're doing. You can't just spin articles anymore and put them online. It's, it's crap content, it's not going to work. You need to add value to the proposition. Um, just reviewing the quality. If you're outsourcing, outsource, that's great. But make sure you're checking the work before you're putting it out there. Outsourcing for affiliates and internet marketers is essential. You need to make sure that you're reviewing that content before you put it online. So don't just outsource and turn a blind eye and say, yeah, publish me an article every few days on this blog. Let's all be happy and, and, and turn a blind eye. That's not going to work anymore. You need to make sure that it's quality content that's going up. And that's the only way that you're going to syndicate that across social networks. People are going to engage with that content, like the content, syndicate the content themselves. It's, nowadays, it's users syndicating what they like. It's no longer about, I, like, I, I see this review online, I'm going to buy this product. It doesn't work anymore. You need to put good quality content up that people are going to like, recommend to their friends, and syndicate. Um, so, a year ago, it could have been a quality, uh, a content over quality approach. You can put thousands of articles online, it's going to get indexed, you're going to get traffic, great. Moving forward, it's all about quality. And quantity, unfortunately, is, is not going to fly moving forward. That's my opinion. Um, so, in innovating, trying something new, moving forward, that's what today is all about. And the presentations that you're going to see throughout the day are all about trying something new, innovating, em embracing the changes that are happening. So we're going to have a great presentation on social media, mobile marketing, SEO, email, list building, SEO and killing penguins, which some people in this room will appreciate, and uh, video marketing. So it's, video marketing, we don't have a presentation on video marketing, but video marketing is huge, and you'll have probably seen from the search results in one, two years' time, you're going to search online and it's going to be video that you're going to see. No one wants to read five, six, seven hundred words anymore. They want to see a one minute video, get all the information uh, in, in an easy snap. So, we're going to talk a little bit about videos, um, but really just, just try and take as much as you can from the presentations throughout the day um, and just, just, just try something new, innovate. Um, and, and just think to yourself, am I doing what I was doing a year ago or am I doing something different? Am I innovating with the change? Am I working with Google? Am I working with the way that people are adapting to internet marketing? Surfers are interacting with the internet very differently today than they were a year ago. So just have a think throughout the day about how you're engaging with your visitors are you doing something new or are you doing exactly the same as you were doing a year ago? So what are we doing as a twist to innovate, to stay ahead of the curve uh, and to evolve? So I'm going to just go through a little bit about the different organisations, what we're doing and how we're evolving um, and hopefully that will help understand sort of what we're up to. So more niche. Uh, there's some names on there that you might not recognise, but we are adding more brands to the network. We're evolving, adding new niches. Um, there's a number of brands on there that you may recognise, you may not recognise. Um, we're constantly adding new brands, evolving what we do. So, um, obviously, weight loss is a big market for ourselves, but we're looking at innovating, moving into new niches, uh, hair loss, sports supplements. Natox, I'm sure John in the room will, uh, will talk to you all about how good Natox is and, and such a 
good proposition as an alternative to Botox. Uh, there's products in here that, um, that really are sort of pushing the boundaries and uh, it's important that you speak to the merchants, there's merchants in this room, speak to them, speak to the affiliates. Um, as more niche, obviously um, some of the affiliates in this room who are engaging with more niche will assume we're going through some transitional um, sort of transparency, working with um, the IFT, working with the ASA, staying on top of um, the regulations in the UK. And again, it goes back to you either work with Google, you work with the regulations, or you work against them. And I think everybody needs to make sure that they are working with the relevant organizations, working with Google, not against them. And that's how you're gonna see a long-term successful business. Um, so in the last year, we've also split out our adult sector. Um, some of you will be familiar with Impact 5, which houses our more adult products. And there's a number of new brands in Impact 5 over the last 12 months, so there's a few of them there. Um, again, just diversifying, innovating, um, adding new brands. Um, I can say today, exclusively, that we're actually going to add a third health brand, which is going to be a North American-facing health network. Um, in two weeks, I'm flying out to Canada to sign that deal. Um, and so there's going to be a, probably eight or ten new health products to promote within the next few months. What else are we doing? You'll have noticed obviously the twist branding this year. Um, we are, as having multiple networks and adding new networks to our mix, we're, um, I guess, separating twist, becoming a social community training portal for affiliates and internet marketing in general. Um, so moving forward, we're gonna have Twist Training, which is gonna be a full online e-learning course, educating people about internet marketing. Um, so that's uh, gonna be a very educational based approach to how you can innovate and, and learn new skills. We've got the Twist Directory, which is um, a place to find new affiliate networks, new programs. If you're looking to promote a product in the food industry or in the pet market, head to Twist Directory. You can find an affiliate program for any marketplace there. Moving forward, uh, Twist Rewards. At the moment, we have the Morning's Points, which is, um, I guess, a little bit dated. That's probably three years now where you can earn points and redeem prizes. Moving forward, we're looking to innovate, add new prizes, deal of the day uh, type situation where even if you've got 10, 20, 30 points, you can redeem gifts and prizes and deals uh, moving forward to help uh, your internet marketing experience. Uh, jobs, anyone looking for an internet marketing job? Uh, we're gonna have a job pool, uh, which is all about internet related uh, work. So um, yeah, we're just looking to engage with people, um, promote the Twist brand and really just help educate people in terms of internet marketing and, and what you can do. And it's, it's no longer about just more niche, just Impact 5. It's about, it's a bigger picture. What can we add? What value can we add? How can, as a community, we evolve? And like I say, this time last year, people putting content online, just writing content. Things are moving so quickly, we need to evolve and adapt. And as a community, work together to make sure that we're all moving forward as a unit and we're not just all going everywhere you know that's ultimately what our merchants want what we want is to evolve to move forward um, as a group as an entity um, and that's what we're here to discuss today uh, moving forward what we're going to do we're going to add new networks of course we are we're going to innovate we're going to grow our group uh, we're looking at partnerships jvs Anyone's got any great ideas, talk to me later today because we are moving forward. Potentially a pet affiliate network. There's a number of merchants in the room looking at pet products. Um, it's all about moving forward um, and making sure we're not moving backwards. Uh, Multi-affiliate. Uh, some of you may be familiar with this concept. Uh, we're developing a desktop based platform that allows you to access your stats from every single affiliate program that you promote. So every affiliate program online, you'll be able to see all of your stats 
uh, in one single place. If you're promoting Commission Junction, Affiliate Window, whoever you're promoting, all of your stats and your earnings will be available in one centralized location. So if you want to know how much you've earned today, you open up uh, multi-affiliate and you can see all of your affiliate accounts in one place and all of your earnings. Um, it will be available on the mobile device, so when you're out and about, you're looking to check your stats, you'll be able to see exactly how much money you've earned today, yesterday, last month, this month, um, all in one centralized location. So again, moving forward, adapting to mobile, adapting to the way people want to engage with the internet. It's all about, I want to see how much money I'm earning now, load up your mobile, uh, app, multi-affiliate multi app, and you'll be able to see exactly right now how much money I've earned today, how much money I've earned yesterday, um, all in one centralized location. So it's just ways in which we're looking to aid affiliates in making their job easier. Um, no one wants to be checking their stats in five, six, ten different affiliate networks all day long just so they know how much money they're earning today. This uh, application is a time-saving device to make sure that you can see your stats today um, straight away okay this is how much money I'm making right I can spend that time now adding value to my business and not spending all day checking my stats <clears throat> so I'm just going to talk a little bit about a couple of things a couple of presentations that you're going to see later on today um, the two areas really that I feel are going to add the most value for you guys moving forward is social media and video marketing and then mobile marketing as well so just some stats to get you sort of thinking about social media video marketing um, there's going to be presentations on these things later i'm sure you'll get a lot more interesting information out of those but just some some stats to sort of get you thinking um, in 2012 two-thirds of internet users will be using social networks. Um, hundreds of millions if not billions of people are engaging with social networks so you need to make sure you've got a presence on those social networks moving forward. 44% of Generation Z users, these are 18 to 20 year olds, are relying on social networks to find websites and find products. People aren't using Google anymore to find products in Generation Z uh, age range. They're using social networks to engage with brands, engage, find new products, find new services. Um, so social media moving forward, I believe, is critical to your business strategy. Um, sales via social commerce, these are sort of websites, uh, pages within the Facebook, the social media environments, um, is expected to reach 30 billion dollars within five years a uh, huge avenue to actually selling products no longer do you necessarily need to run your own websites if I was in a, starting as an affiliate today not necessarily creating my own blogs creating my websites utilizing the channels that are already out there utilizing Facebook Twitter LinkedIn all of these social environments you can engage with them and get value out of them um, so moving on to video marketing by 2013, over 90% of internet traffic is going to be video-based content. Um, online videos, uh, promotion can increase your sales by 20 to 40%. So great, have your content, definitely have your content, but also back that content up with video. Uh, video is being indexed, I can see it here. Video content is taking over the search results without a doubt. If you search for anything, you'll probably find on the first page there's going to be a video at some point, whether it's at the bottom of the listings or throughout the listings. Um, people viewing video content are 85% more likely to buy. You'll notice from our merchant sites, every single, pretty much every single merchant site now has a video either above the fold or on the index page of their website. It's because users that engage with video uh, are more likely to buy the products and, and, and the stats back that up. Um, 80, 800 million people visiting YouTube every month. Get your content onto YouTube, utilize those channels. It does affect the search results. Um, if you've got a well-indexed video content that you can uh, SEO and, and optimize that video content, it will, uh, it will get indexed and, and you will get visitors and you can redirect them, uh, re redirect them to wherever you want them to go. So social media and video marketing moving forward 
is going to be fundamental uh, to the success of, of, of affiliate marketing, for sure. Um, moving forward, mobile marketing um, is going to be more and more important. So mobile, we all have smartphones in this room pretty much. Everyone is checking their phone uh, throughout the day, checking their stats, checking their emails. Whenever you've got a gap in your day, the first thing you do uh, is look at your mobile phone. You're waiting for something, um, whatever you might be doing, as soon as you've, you've got a gap, first thing you do, check your phone. Check, have I got any messages? What's the email situation? How am I getting on? Apparently, you look at your mobile phone 150 times a day on average. The average user checks their phone 150 times. So, people are engaging with their mobile, and it's how do we actually tap into that environment? How do we make sure that when they're checking their mobile, we're embracing that technology and utilizing to that, uh, to that advantage? 51% uh, of the people are actually interacting with their mobile device while watching TV. 60% uh, through our ad breaks. So people are no longer watching TV as their primary focus anymore. People are actually starting to use their mobiles, their tablet devices as their primary screen when they're at home. The TV is starting to become a secondary uh, screen within the home environment. So people are engaging with their mobiles uh, more and more um, it's estimated that in 2013, 50% of paid search is going to be generated through the mobile device. Uh, that is huge. If you imagine how many people um, are searching Google at the moment, and paid search, and then you imagine, okay, move 50% of that onto the mobile device. Moving forward, mobile, tablets, um, that's definitely <coughs> where people are going to be interacting with brands, interacting with what you're doing. Um, Windows 8, you know, the, the big players in the market are starting to understand the way surfers are moving. It's no longer about your desktop environment. You can't, you, no longer should you be building websites prime, just for your desktop environment. You need to start thinking, and the big players are Google, Windows, Facebook, all these people are starting to look at the desktop as one environment, but you also need to build for the tablet, for the mobile environment, because people are going to start embracing all of these different technologies, and we already are using all of these different uh, devices to interact with the internet. Chrome, moving forward, if you access something at home on your desktop, when you load up Chrome on your mobile, it's going to sync your bookmarks, it's going to sync your tabs. You look at, uh, I don't know, the Mornish website, at home on your desktop, you load up your mobile, you're going to see the morning website, it's going to sync everything. Moving forward, all of your devices are going to show the same thing and you're going to interact with them in exactly the same way. Um, PayPal mobile payments, this is incredible. 192 million in 2009, in 2011 4.4 .4 billion dollars was processed through mobile PayPal payments. Uh, obviously apps are a large part of that. Um, so moving forward, embracing with apps, advertising in app, advertising is massive, um, but also developing apps. You know, everyone has seen My Fitness Pal and these sorts of fitness-related apps. They're using them. So how do you <coughs> embrace with those technologies to promote our brands? You know, we're in the health and fitness industry. My Fitness Pal, these sorts of uh, apps are massively critical moving forward. Um, yeah, 1.2 billion apps downloaded during the Christmas period of 2011. It's huge. 37% uh, of customers have stopped an in-store purchase as a result of their mobile. So people are going into stores, they're using their mobile device, um, they're looking at prices, price comparison type websites. Do I want to buy that product? Actually, no, I can order it from Amazon through my app and it will be here tomorrow and it's £10 cheaper. So again, just sort of looking at the way that consumers are using their mobile devices uh, and engaging with that. Uh, 150 new tablet devices. Individual tablet devices are going to be introduced in 2012. Um, it was at the Mobile Engage conference earlier in the year, and they were just discussing what is a tablet device. Is it a mobile? Is it a desktop? How do you classify a tablet device? Um, and, and the conclusion was it's not a mobile, it's not a desktop. Apple have actually created a complete new industry 
a complete new device that people are engaging with completely differently to the way they, they engage with their mobiles, completely differently to the way they engage with their desktop devices. This is a new product that, that is basically filling a gap in people's lives. You, know, you, you, you use your tablet device uh, in the morning, in the evening. You don't want to get your big laptop out in the evening just to check your email. People just pick up the tablet and engage with the tablet. It's a completely different uh, device to your mobile and your desktop applications and we need to kind of engage with that in a completely different way. So build your sites, your content, your social media, with that in mind, engage with mobiles, engage with tablets, and engage with desktops in completely different ways, and market to them in different ways as well. Um, so that pretty much <clears throat> comes to the end of my presentation. Um, it's all about innovating, doing something different, taking something away from the presentations that you're gonna learn today, and making sure that this time next year when you're sat here, you're not doing the same as what you're doing this time this year. So thank you very much.